Want to know how this young kid who spent all his pocket money playing games and end up being someone who caught the attention of some of the biggest game developers? Here is my story. Wow, the original family computer. In Hong Kong, we call that the red and white machine. Whoever told you that playing video games gets you no future, they have no idea. These are my inspirations. I am Stanley Lau, but people know me as Art Germ. Art is my playground, my passion, and my purpose. Street Fighter 2, the original cartridge for Mega Drive. I remember playing this game in the arcade challenging everybody. It was such a fun time. Otherwise, it doesn't work. I must say that the beginning of my art journey really started off with anime, manga, and gaming. Most importantly, Street Fighter. I was really charmed by the characters. They are simple, yet they are so iconic. When I started drawing, I tried to draw like what I see on the screen. I tried to draw Ryu, Chun-Li, and all of my favorite characters inside. That was how I started. Chun-Li was really standing out for me because she was strong, fast, and Asian. That really resonated with me. Of course, her character design is really iconic, especially the two buns on top. Looking back, I had no idea my passion in gaming when I was young helped me connect the art world and the gaming world together as an artist. I would consider myself as a person who wears many hats. I'm a digital artist, I'm also an educator, a gamer, but overall I'm a pretty simple guy. I just need a few things in life. My art, my family, my games and of course, I copy. That's all. Singapore gave me a chance to expose myself to the Western part of the art. When I was born in Hong Kong, my vision is always very much Japanese, local Hong Kong stuff. Only after I moved to Singapore, I get to actually expose myself to, for example, superheroes. Because of that influence and the mixed culture of Singapore, now my art is a mix of different stuff. So from East to West, a nice blend of both. To me, especially entertainment art, is really about imagination and, and bring you out of the reality into some fantasy world. So it's not all the time you need to connect so closely to reality. Many times people really want to have something that's beyond reality so that they can let their mind run wild. I think we as creators or as artists, this is our job. To me, art is never a competition, it's a community. I want to teach people how to become good. So art become more meaningful to me rather than just showing off how good I am. I wanted my art to be something that inspires people. If you look at my art, you feel inspired to draw. It's like you caught a bit of my art virus. That's why I call myself Art Germ. And I believe that I've done some of that and people recognize it and they get inspired. I hope that I can continue this journey to inspire the next generations. And of course, one of the places that start all this journey about inspiring people is my own studio, Imagine Friends Studios. In 2005, my friend and I decided to take art to the next level. So we want a space for ourselves. This is the studio that we created. It's our playground. Come, check it out. Those are my comic covers from DC to Marvels. This one, special one, for Street Fighter versus Star Stalker comic. And then we have some of the statue that I designed, Poison Ivy, and then there's the Morrigan from Dark Stalker as well. These are for DC Comics, so all the superheroes which I love. But this one, this one takes the cake, man. This is my favorite because this is my own character, called Pepper. This is a retro gaming machine. We even got the actual Capcom arcade shell. The most memorable part of my gaming project was the one that I did with Capcom, 
when Capcom asked me to recreate some of the artworks for Street Fighter Dead Strike Online Editions, they asked me to draw every single portrait of it. So when you look at the, the character selection screens, those would become my artworks. And that was really crazy because something that I love so much, spent so much time in my childhood, eventually I see the actual game showing my artwork right here. That is really, really magical. It's almost unbelievable. Like, like brought me into tears. This is my workstations, my playground, so to speak. So you can see the digital station here with the Wacom tablet. I also have all the drawing materials here for my traditional sketches. I always think that gaming and art has quite a bit of parallel. In game, you encounter many obstacles. When you fight bosses, uh, some of the big bosses are really hard to fight. So you need to find strategy to actually win them. In art, it's the same thing. You may encounter many obstacles in your art and you need to find solution to them. It's not about the talent. It's really about the hard work. And I would say that my only talent in art is that I choose not to give up after 20 years and keep practicing every day. That is my real talent. Game inspires so many kind of careers, whether you're talking about eSport kind of gamers or people like me who develop artworks for the gaming industries. I hope that I can continue to be the person who inspire to develop new things for the gaming industries um, in big and small ways and just to enjoy this wonderful journey in art and the game industry. I strongly encourage all of you whoever is interested in gaming or inspired by games to pursue your dreams, do your best, fight for what you believe in because I think at the end of the day, when you look back, it's all worth it. <laughs>